In today's news for you, the Midlands is keeping a close eye on former USC standout, this man, Marcus Lattimore, beginning his career with the San Francisco 49ers. Now we all got to get 49ers t-shirts. Well, who knows his trials, his triumphs best? How about this woman, his mom? This is Yolanda Smith, and she's coming to Columbia this Wednesday to share her amazing story at the Palmetto Center for Women's Prayer Breakfast. Wendy Broderick is the development officer for YMCA of Columbia and also the executive director of Palmetto Center for Women. So this, Wendy, was so popular, you had to change venues. Isn't that exciting? It is. It's um, the largest uh, response that we've had in the history of our prayer breakfast. Um, and it was so great that we had to move. We're going to be at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center on Lincoln Street. Excellent. And I want to emphasize to our viewers, when we say Palmetto Center for Women, of which I am on the, the board of directors and love it because it's an amazing group, this is not just a women's event. This is open to men Absolutely. very much as well. Absolutely. And certainly Clemson fans as well might be interested in hearing. A, a few, maybe. <laughs> we'll definitely <laughs> want to be there. So this annual event has been going on how many years? And it is neat to see how much more popular it is, especially when we get somebody like Marcus's mom. How many years have you been doing this? The uh, PCW Prayer Breakfast has, has been around um, for nearly eight years. Um, we do this now. PCW is a part of the YMCA of Columbia, who has been doing an annual prayer breakfast since their inception over 100 years ago and again so that we're really making history with our largest turnout and we look that we've been doing this for for nearly a century and she is going to be able to talk about more than just being the mother of Marcus Lattimore she's had some real trials that some of our viewers may be able to relate to tell me about some of those she has Yolanda's just an inspiration to everyone that she meets she's faced some of life's greatest challenges even homelessness and uh, Dondi, you are going to, you're going to laugh when you hear this story. You might reach for some tissues as well. Mm -hmm. she, um, she just has such a wonderful heart. And she's going to share with us how her faith brought us through her darkest days. Awesome. The uh, response has been great. We're looking forward to having her. And then the money that is raised will go to help the community in what way in the future? Palmetto Center for Women exists to serve uh, women and girls in the Midlands. We're really excited about a partnership that we have with Transitions. That's the shelter in downtown Columbia. And for the last several years, PCW, along with community leaders and volunteers, have been uh, ministering to the spirit, mind, and body of residents there at Transitions. So we're the, there doing Bible studies multiple times a week. We're teaching Zumba classes <laughs> weekly, thanks to our friends at the Y. And uh, health and wellness education along with career workforce readiness and financial awareness programs. Fantastic. So not only are people going to be able to come and hear a great message from Yolanda, but they're going to help uh, support the programs and the services that we're providing in the community. I'm sold. I'll be there. Great. I have to be there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to watch the full interview again with Wendy Broderick, uh, follow me on Twitter at Dondi WIS TV. Also click like on my Facebook page, Dondi Mercer Plank WIS TV. You'll find my daily interviews there. And all the information about this Wednesday morning prayer breakfast at Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center with Marcus Lattimore's mom, Yolanda, will be on the Big Red Tent. It's there right now. Just click on our homepage on our website. Wendy, thank you so much.